Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. This one is for Qual HUD Dimensions. HUD because it's a little thing that, that turns up here and Dimensions because whenever you click on something it shows you the dimensions. Um, it's always on screen and it's something that you can control with the end panel pop out here. And just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to increase the scale of it. You can increase it, you can have it as small as you like, you can place it any way you like with the offsets. So wherever you want it to be, it will always be there. You can change the colors, you can do anything you like with it. And so yeah, let's get on with it. I tell you what, I will make it bigger just so that we, for the sake of the demo, and so you can see what's going on. Now, what does it do? It, um, well, it shows you the size of the active object. Whatever you have selected, it will show you the scale of it. Or the size of it, sorry. And that is the very, very important distinction because this isn't scale, it's size. And it will always reflect what scale it is or size it is uh, in real world proportions. So, for example, if we were to scale this up now, scale, scale, scale in that axis, you can see it's gone to one point whatever meters, and that's a real size of the object. Do also note that it, it shows you a warning when the scale has changed. And the reason I do that is because if you have procedural textures, it's uh, really annoying when the object is uh, stretched or the wrong scale. It starts to show really badly in the textures. You can turn on or off the warning, the scale warning. In this case, I like to turn it red whenever something is not a scale at one. So what we can do is obviously you can freeze the scale or apply scale to it and always know that that's the right scale. The dimensions stay the same when you alter the scale, the dimensions. So why would you want this? Well, in all fairness, it is a facility that is already in Blender, and that you will find in the item section of the end panel, right down the bottom, you have dimensions here, as you can see there. Uh, the only thing is that this dimensions, which is phenomenally useful, I find, and I didn't discover it until way too late, isn't available anywhere else on the interface, anywhere, um, which is frustrating. You have to have the end panel out to be able to see or manipulate the dimensions. I don't like having the end panel on all the time, and frankly, I find it very useful to be able to see the dimensions at any one point. Um, also, I like to be able to see whether it's in centimeters, meters, micrometers, or whatever. Um, just just a, a number sometimes gets a bit screwy with a head when you're trying to do your maths on the fly. It's nice to see the actual dimensions of things and to be able to manipulate them. Um, you can set size of things directly. So for the height, let's say I want it at 1.5 meters. As you can see, it immediately turns to 1.5 meters there. Um, so you can directly manipulate the size of things just that way. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5, say. So now we've got a tiny little super squash chair. And at any point, obviously, you can just reset everything there. Uh, unless you've frozen the scale of it, of course. So yeah, it's nice to be able to see the size of things directly. And for the ability to change the actual dimensions of something, so say you wanted this to be, I don't know, let's go to 1.2 meters tall, okay? To be able to bring up that uh, change dimensions without having to go to the end panel normally, what you can do is go to the HUD section of end panel, uh, the same place where you change all the, uh, the sizes and scales and all that sort of thing is you can have the change dimensions, which is the little pop-up there. All you have to do is right-click that, add your own shortcut, and then you never have to see the end panel again. <laughs> Who doesn't love that prospect, eh? So, uh, yeah, dimensions. And always on information HUD that just tells you exactly how big things actually are. Look at that. I think I've managed to uh, keep this down to... Uh, a nice short video for once, so I better shut. <laughs> I had better stop yapping right away. Hope you like uh, like the prospect of this. Um, I certainly do. I use it all the time. And uh, thank you again for now. Bye bye.